everybody, it's Steve and I'm here with Toby. Toby Meow for another unboxing. A little side note, is happy to make it over to the Guitar World Cup. Got the, the special World Cup hat I'm wearing here for now. We'll take it off for now, but again, very lucky to have gone to the World Cup. So again, hope you made it over there. I was fortunate to have made it, but more importantly, time for some shoes. So let's look at the brand new um, Sandy. So Sandy is the name of the shoe based on um, Sandy Bodecker, who was the a Nike, um, kind of like a, one, of the, one of the earlier pioneers with a skateboarding brand. So back in 2003, I think it was, there was a release of one pair of shoes on eBay. Um, and then the shoes were sold to the highest bidder and only one pair was made and sold. The second pair that was made for sampling then was cut up into small pieces to make the one shoe left over be the one of ones. Only one shoe was originally available from that. So for this pair, which is the eBay pair, of um, Nike SB Sandies. They've taken the shoe design and made it into a cut up version of a shoe. Again, shout out to the folks at Frame. It's a frame for um, the release today. I went there this morning, queued up in advance knowing they posted on their socials that um, picture of the eBay logo and the computer. So I knew they were releasing it today. So I went and got in line with the hopes they'd be up for sale. And sure enough, they were. I got there about you know, one o'clock and they released about four o'clock. So three hours in line waiting making new friends as I got the shoe. So again, the shoe itself is a pair of shoes that's been cut up into three pieces. As you can see here on the version here, it's basically a shoe that's been torn apart and sewn back together because the original pair, like I said, was cut up and put into three pieces. So they've taken the cut sections, been using this kind of like see-through material across there. So again, the shoe itself is, um, again, really a, a really a low number made, harder to get. So this pair particularly, because it's such a limited shoe, you had to wear it out of the actual location. So when you bought the shoe, they made you wear the shoes outside. So even though they are brand new, they're a little bit dirty because they didn't wear them outside as I left the location, but I'm very lucky and very happy to have gotten the shoe. So very, very, let's see, honestly they're a hype pair because honestly, they're not reselling for crazy amounts compared to some other shoes recently like the Travis's, but they are to me a shoe that should have been more hype because to me, this is a really nice kind of a storytelling shoe. And, um, and the, the Sandy, Sandy Blue Decker Foundation is making some money from the shoe also. This is a really nice, well-made, fun shoe, which again, is a shoe that I would definitely look forward to wearing out in the real world. Um, the shoe itself does have the, well, the fat tongue on it, but it's funny, the fat tongue, as you see it come across it, it does have that plastic section right afterwards. So it does have the see-through section in the middle of the tongue, which is kind of a different look and feel to the shoe. Um, and then on the shoe itself, you can see, um, I think it's the Sandy Blue Decker on there on the front. The Nike, you know, as a ring for the person. I haven't really looked that closely at it because I just, I just got them. And you can see on the front there, the uh, kind of SB with Sandy Bodecker on the front. Um, I think it's what it says. I can't read that closely to it. And inside has the shoes that were cut up inside. You can see the original version of the shoe that was cut up in three pieces on the one side. And on the other side, take a look inside of that, of that shoe insert. It's a picture of Sandy with his... Um, I think it's with his with, with this child that's uh, from the shoe. So unfortunately, Sandy did pass away um, kind of recently. So this is kind of a memorial to him, this kind of one-on-one -on -one shoe. So again, the shoe was never supposed to be, be remade, the original shoe. There's only one pair that's not cut up, and that's just the way it should be. And this is the one that is cut up, which is a nice fun pair. So again, very lucky to have gotten these. To me, this is, uh, if you know me, hopefully you do by now, you know I do like shoes that are a little more interesting, a little more storytelling driven, a little more... I mean, it's colorful and challenging. I like the ones that just stand out to be a little bit different. It's like, kind of like me, I'm a little bit different. So um, this is the shoe here. So again, lucky we've gotten these. Hopefully you got a pair if you're able to. Uh, it was a really hard one to get. So thank you to Ahmed, who I met down at Frame in line with me. I was the first one there early. Or, well, I was one of the first ones there early. And then went to got, got a bite to eat, came back, and others were in line already too. So we formed a line. Um, they had one pair of size 13s available. And I'm a size 13. Um, Ahmed, who's also in line with me, is also a size 13. We're both there about the same time, front of the line, we're the first two in line, one pair of shoes. So, but he's actually, a, you know, fortunately he does wear a 12 and a half, so he's able to kind of go down to a 12. He'd be a big, big up, big favor by taking the 12s and allowing me to take the 13. So then thank you very much for that favor. I'm very appreciative, as you know, I do wear the shoes and he'll wear the sweat to size 12s also, which I'm happy he has those for himself too. So again, um, hope you had got a pair if you're able to. Um, and you said the reason these isn't crazy right now, um, but I think it's like two two times over probably right now, which isn't that bad for the shoe, I think. I think it'll go up over time. Um, but hopefully you're able to buy them at retail. And if you bought them, hope you wear them. So I said, buy what you like, wear what you buy. Hope you're not buying just to do a resale. But, you know, I understand people do that. But for me, it's all about buying the shoes and wearing them versus buying them and reselling them. So 
With that, we'll call it a day. Thanks for tuning in as always. I appreciate it. Toby says thank you also. Um, we will then hopefully see you in the world. If you see me out there, say hi. Um, I know it's met some people online today. It was nice chatting with some people at Frame that, I, that kind of followed me and nice seeing everybody out in, the, out in the world today. So it was nice talking to everybody and hopefully you got your pairs. Hopefully they had enough pairs by the time they got to your space online. All right, we'll call it a day, like I said before, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care. All righty, bye.